Hi everyone, I am Michelle Espinosa, otherwise known as Lady Stars and Fire, and this is our weekly rune reading for November 30th until December 7th. Now, I'm sorry, I kind of got the rune cast out a little bit late this week. I've been preoccupied doing some inward work on my own self, but here it is for you now, and happy holidays. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Before I go any further, I'm going to say that the first one is coming in three, more or less. But my eyes are trumping it a little bit. We're getting Manaz. We're getting Dagaz. Dagaz threw itself at me. But my eyes, when you're looking at both Manaz and Dagaz, see how it's an X? Ah, as soon as I can find it. See how they both have an X with a line down them? Well, Jebo doesn't have the lines. My eyes are showing me Jebo and then going into Dagaz and Manaz. Jebo, Dagaz, Manaz. Jebo, Dagaz, Manaz. So it's saying they're kind of intertwining. But Jebo isn't exactly coming in the reading this week. Jebo is about the gift. The gift and its gifting price. It is hospitality or hostage give and take, sacrifice and endurance. And then we're getting Manaz and Dagaz coming with Burkina. Sorry, coming with Burkina. And so they're marinating together. I feel very good about this week, but I feel it's a little bit of a bumpy road. <laughs> I'm feeling um, be very grounded, but not so grounded that you're stubborn instead of sturdy. I'm feeling like a tree. Sway in the wind. Doesn't mean that you're going to break free and, and loose or not stand tall and strong anymore. But that you can be strong as you sway is what I'm getting. And allowing of your dead leaves to fall. They're no longer useful to you is basically where I'm coming with this. But I'm going to start off with Manaz. Manaz is coming in awareness and is also spiritual energy and it's protective because that's uh, the stone that it is. Um, Manaz is man, humanity, people, air. It is the world of people. It's all about intelligence, creative skill, and ability. But it focuses on one's awareness and their self and their one place in the scheme of things. Self-realization through ordering of life and of its daily tasks shows the person who may be seeking and finding their true path. Or, if you're not finding your true path, you may be feeling um, victimized, weak, or lost right now. That would also go with Jebo, where it's, are you feeling hospitable or a hostage? So where are you in this area of the changing in your life? Um, Menaz is about self-realized self consciousness. Seeing your own self as the hero, as the seeker, as your personal quest. Awakening to one's place in this world. Playing one's part in the world and of your own patternings. It's your belonging energy, your divine energy, and it's manifesting into the twin nature of your own human and divine nature. Now, when we mix that with Dagaz, which is the one that threw itself at me twice, because I checked this twice this week, because I was a little off when I did it. That is also coming in unconditional love love of others, um, grace. <laughs> it's also coming in loss of anxiety because that is rotonite. Dagaz is day, dawn, twilight. It is a fire symbol, um, fire sign. It is the world of outer experience. It points to awakening, enlightenment, or of realization. Shows the sudden and unexpected shift in consciousness of life, and situations or can be of a complete change. 
It rules the world, again, of twilight and paradox. It is the presence of enlightenment or teachers or teachers of enlightenment. It is also seen often as a trickster or a liar. It usually also works with the god of mischief. So Loki is present with that, which kind of makes that whole sway of Hmm, where, where exactly are we going with this? More grounded. See why I said the grounded now? You kind of, it may be coming at you from left field. It's like, it's like they say all the time. You get people all the time who say, you know, well, I ask for help from God, from the creator, from my spirits, from angels, from my guides. And, and I, I know I need help. I need it in this way. This is what I need in my life. And I'm asked and I asked and I asked and I asked and I'm not getting it. Well, a lot of times that's also... Well, you're only looking for the answers over here. When God, your spirits, your angels could be over here jumping up and down going, Would you just turn your head? I'm over here. So don't be so stuck on thinking that you are exactly right about the direction it might go. Because maybe that enlightenment that's coming in might be coming in trying to tell you, Yeah, but this way is how we're going to do that. It won't work the way you necessarily think it's supposed to work. So I'm saying be open-minded in that area. Because Dagaz can be funny that way. Really, really funny that way. It brings to the point of awakening. Uh, awakened consciousness. It is your right brain, your left brain coming to balance. Um, but it is your polarities and your oppo opposites being revealed. Inner space connects with your outer space. It is your perpetual breakthrough. Unexpected events of arrivals. A break in your regular rhythm and rhyme of life. A development, a new development, a new starting vision. A penetrating illusion. The gap between worlds, the seeker itself. But again, sometimes it comes in mischief-like. A little magical, like a little trickster-like, because we are dealing also with what works with the god of Loki. Then we are going to Burkina. Burkina is coming in awareness. It's also uh, spiritual. It is also protective. Um, Burkina is typically all about new beginnings and fertility. It's also about... Uh, the magic of the goddess at work and mysteries of women. But I am being directed straight to exorcism, release of what is no longer germane in your life. It is the magical craft and the use of your personal power. In order for you to get to your personal power, you are exercising these things. That's why I said, um, the tree, swaying. Back and forth, but letting your dead leaves fall. You've got to exercise them from you. Sometimes it's hard to realize you've been a slave to yourself about some things because you didn't truly understand things about yourself. Sometimes that might be exactly what part of this is. Because like I said, Jebo is also just the fact of it's a gift of life. And Jebo is also going with Manaz and Dagaz this week. My eyes say that they're just circling each other along with Burkina, which is always about the new beginnings and bringing new fertility. But in order for you to bring that new fertility and those new beginnings, you are going to be exercising some of those things and letting them go. Like I said, it's a very good week, but you might feel a little bit on a bumpy road from time to time. I am also getting, and this is why I did the rune cast, a few times this week because I'm getting uh, a thou which is coming in awareness spiritual energies and um, it's protective but I'm getting a thou at a much lower vibration and a distance this is more like a warning um, I'm getting it reversed this is why I'm saying you don't want to be that slave to yourself. Othal, Othal is all about um, you, yourself. It's your home. It's your ancestral. It's your prosperity. 
It's your property. It's your heritage. It's your homeland. It's your sacred space. It's your... It's everything that can't be taken away from you because it's you. It's part of who you are. It's inside of this flesh. It's who you are. And nobody can ever take that from you unless you give it to them. And that is the warning right now is, is you've got to see that larger picture of yourself. The larger picture of yourself and off past the frame and into the whole big true picture of the world of where you are and what it is that's going on with you not just inside of the picture frame and if it's coming in reversed that's because maybe just maybe you might find either you have been or or maybe this week maybe some situations may occur where it feels like it's lack of loyalties um you may be feeling like uh somebody's trying to rule you or dictator dictatorship over you um and or of your personal interests um 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 going against your own personal self order and and like i said letting someone else dictatorship you taking away from your home, um, from what it is that, that that you truly desire. You're letting someone else rule that. And maybe, maybe you have been and you haven't seen it or you're starting to see it. Or maybe something along that line might be coming in at a distance this week. And that's just a warning. Nobody can ever take anything away from you that is yours, that is ancestral, that is um, part of your heritage, that is who you are. Nobody can change who you are except for you by allowing it. And you, you have to sometimes just stand firm. And even though you might be swaying like a tree this week and seeing things for what they are, sometimes you have to stand firm and be like, no, I'm, I'm, I might be swaying, but I'm working with you. I'm not giving everything to you. So that, that's a warning coming in this week as well as Jera. Jera is a reminder of your harvest, of your patience, of timing, of rewards, of what are you harvesting. Remember, whatever you are thinking, you are manifesting and bringing to you, as well as that's what you're harvesting. So this week's all about you coming into your new beginnings. Make sure you're harvesting what it is you're wanting to harvest in your new beginning. Hugs and kisses in the wind, my darlings. And in case you haven't noticed, I haven't been around too much lately on Facebook. I got slapped with Facebook restriction that I wasn't allowed to post for a couple weeks. I'll be back very soon. But if you like my readings, if you want to help me share them, please post for me because I can't. Hugs and kisses in the wind. I wish you the best and I will see you next week. Bye.